Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Pepelinski here. I figured I know it's been a while since I haven't had the chance to discuss all my reviews, but I figured the one that I figured I would talk about is uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, which is the sequel to the Pacific Rim, which, you know, came out about five years ago. And the events of Pacific Rim Uprising, which takes place about ten years after the events of the first movie, which, you know, fo focuses on uh, stoner... Pentecoster's uh, son, Jake Pentecoster, you know, played by John Boyega, you know, known for, you know, most famously for his role as the former Stormtrooper Finn in the, um, you know, in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, and of course, for his role in the um, Circle and um, Detroit as well. So, the events of Pacific Rim Uprising take place in 2030, in which, you know, Jake Pentecostal is recruited as part of the, you know, Jaeger program as a way of keeping him, you know, out of trouble. And, um, well, you know, Michael Mori. And, of course, it also brings back um, other characters from the first movie, including Dr. Herman and Lou Gretzler, you know, who, play, who takes an, uh, I would say, a rather interesting turn in the events of the sequel. Don't want to give that away, but you'll see, you know, why... And then, of course, there's also this um, rogue uh, y Jaeger, you know, you know, robot that goes rogue. And unfortunately, you know, Michael Mori, you know, unfortunately is, you know, one of the casualties when she finds out, out some information and, you know, before, you know, before she gets the chance to report it. And of course, uh, the cast also has, you know, new cast members, including, um, you know, Scott Eastwood, the son of Clint Eastwood, you know, playing an instructor named, you know, late Nate Lambert, which I thought was um pretty cool to see. You know, I was really surprised that, you know, there was, I mean, even though the Raleigh, you know, Becker character, who, who was played by uh, Charlie Hernan in the first um, Pacific Rim movie, was mentioned, but too bad they never really say what happened to him, which would have been interesting to see. But, you know, it was because of um, Charlie Hernan wasn't available because of um, his conflict with his other movie, King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword, which surprisingly, that particular one wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but that one could have been better. I would say, would, is the Pacific Uprising sequel as good as the first one? I mean, it's, a, it's not bad. I mean, I mean... I mean, it's like I would consider, you know, good, just good old entertainment fun if that's the way I would describe it. So, I mean, I guess for those that saw the first Pacific Rim Uprising movie, I, they'll enjoy the sequel, you know, as well. So, I would, you know, recommend it for those that didn't get a chance to see it. So, um, I just want to say to everyone, I mean, check it out when you can, and hopefully, this review will be helpful for those. That, um, you know, want to decide if they feel it's a pass or worth saying, okay, everyone, thank you.